Start recording. Okay. Put the cable in. This is a balloon launch with me and Aditya. United States and Indian. Joint operation. Second attempt of the day. Yeah. But I think it's good to go. Oh. I'm trying to fight. Check. Our uh, camera almost checked me. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah!
First off, we just wanted to address the fact that the camera died mid-flight and we were unable to capture the touchdown in Yosemite. With that being said, let's discuss recovery. To track the balloon, the onboard tracker sends a status report including speed, altitude, and position every minute. If you want to see how to make this tracker, make sure to stay tuned to see that project video in the near future. Let's look at the flight path on APLS.fi. We'll go into more detail on this in the next video. For now, just know that this website logs all of our flight data. Our balloon had a max altitude of 63,553 feet and a top speed of almost 90 miles per hour. The final transmission was about 5,000 feet above ground over the forests of Yosemite. We were unsure whether this was the altitude of the balloon or the mountain. To be sure, we logged our flight data onto Google Earth as a KML file. From this, we were able to tell that the balloon was indeed in the air during this transmission. We had a handheld radio with the decoding software to get the absolute GPS coordinates. We will dec discuss the decoding software in the next project video. We were only able to use this once. We got into a 5 mile radius of the balloon, so that meant it was time to leave. The balloon landed 1.3 kilometers into uncharted territory. We charted a path using the signals from the payload tracking system. We used a phone GPS app and a compass to navigate through the forest. We had to hike through dense vines and over sheer cliffs. We scaled a 700 foot mountain on a 100% grade. We also got caught in quicksand at freezing temperatures, 31 degrees Fahrenheit to be exact. We also chopped down the branch of a tree, all to retrieve a payload. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy what you've watched, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you want to know how to make your very own tracker that transmits all the way from Yosemite, which is about 150 miles away, or build your own antenna which can transmit from up to 60,000 feet in the sky, or your very own payload which can resist temperatures of negative 60 degrees, please consider subscribing to watch those videos. Thank, Thank you. you.